Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Paige Failing. Right now, North Carolina is under a state of emergency because of the Colonial Pipeline cyber attack. Governor Roy Cooper's order suspends some regulations, making it easier to transport fuel across the state. The pipeline consists of several separate lines, 5,500 miles in all, running from Texas all the way up to New Jersey. It carries gasoline, diesel, jet fuel, and other refined products used all along the eastern seaboard. As Fox 46's Lauren Blanchard reports, the incident is now raising new questions about national security. The Colonial Pipeline delivers 45% of the East Coast's fuel supply. The company said it may take until the end of the week or into the weekend to get their system back up and running after a ransomware attack on Friday brought operations to a standstill. Where we're likely to see uh, the soonest impact is going to be more of the south southeast. So Mississippi, Tennessee, over to Georgia and up to Delaware. Resources are starting to dwindle in some areas. North Carolina's governor has declared a state of emergency. There have been long lines of motorists panic buying gas or unable to fill their tanks. It's straining the disrupted supply and will drive up prices. So that national average is likely to hit $3 a gallon here soon. And we haven't seen prices like that since 2014. The White House says they are monitoring the issue. Quote, the president has directed agencies across the federal government to bring their resources to bear to help alleviate shortages where they may occur. The attack has highlighted just how vulnerable the nation's energy infrastructure, run primarily by the private sector, is against cyber attacks, which experts say will only become worse in the future. The FBI says a Russia-based group called DarkSight is responsible for this hack. We need better uh, ongoing real-time communication between the private sector, in this case the Colonial Pipeline, and our people uh, inside the government who know how to identify and deal with this sort of thing. Over the last two weeks, gas prices have risen six cents nationally. The Colonial Pipeline disruption could drive those prices up another three to seven cents this week. In Washington, Lauren Blanchard, Fox News. And right now, a lot of people are hitting the pumps. Some gas stations out of gas, others running low. It's a similar scene across the state. Our crew on assignment at the beach in Moorhead City in eastern North Carolina just sent us this video in. You see extremely long lines there to get gas. Fox 46's Destiny McKeever joins us from a Circle K in Fort Mill. That gas station completely out. Destiny, I should say also, a couple of us at the station have gone to get gas here close by and had no problems. There weren't crazy lines there, so there's a mix out there. There. What are they saying there, though, that, that we should see more gas? Yeah, Paige, I was just going to say that to people. It's no need to panic, just as the experts are saying. But here specifically, you're asking about what they're saying as far as the gas here at the Circle K. And they're saying they're not sure when they're going to get more fuel in. But you may drive around and just see some out of service at the gas pumps. That doesn't mean to panic. It just means that you need to make sure you stand by. My saying is it is what it is, you know. It is what it is. That's how some people feel living near this Circle K along Highway 160 in South Carolina. The gas station is out of fuel following the Colonial Pipeline cyber attack. The more we get into, I feel, the computer systems and so forth, the more we're going to be open for people to, to launch attacks on us through that. Uh, Others are shocked by the attack, saying they spent the morning loading up on gas. I wouldn't expect anything like this. Heard in South Carolina leading up to North Carolina. Meanwhile, fuel experts say it could be quite some time before things are back to normal, at least with gas. This pipeline is critical to the delivery of gasoline supply through the entire southeast. Um, it ships millions of gallons of gasoline every day, and without it, uh, there's not a whole lot of alternatives. Fox 46 cameras capture people lined up to get gas on Wilkinson Boulevard in North Carolina. Meanwhile, a clerk at the Circle K on Highway 60 in South Carolina says she doesn't know when these bags will come off the pumps. Does that concern you? Yeah, it concerns me a lot. People that's traveling now, now that COVID is dying down and just doing everyday, you know, routines. Like I'm here helping out the other store and I had to drive from the, from the store that I'm working at. So, Paige, we know right now that the national average of a gallon of gas here in the state is about 279 per gallon. So that's up about 10 cents from last week. We will hear from a fuel analyst on what you should do as it relates to your gas coming up in about 15 minutes. Reporting live from South Carolina, I'm Destiny McKeever, Fox 46. 
Well, you can find the lowest gas prices in our area on our website, fox46.com. The lowest price reported is the Costco right now on Tyvola Road and West Park Drive. That's $2.44. American Airlines had to add refueling stops to two long-distance flights because of this hack as well. American's daily stop from Charlotte to Honolulu, Honolulu will now stop in Dallas. The first flight left about 20 minutes ago. It'll arrive there in Dallas for refueling by 1.33 p.m. Then won't leave for an hour. People will get to Hawaii a little after 6. The flight from Charlotte to London will stop in Boston to refuel. American Airlines is estimating a return to normal flight schedule by May 15th. And right now, Fox 46 chief political correspondent Emma Withrow joins us. Emma, our local and national lawmakers have responded to this hack. What do they say is being done on their end? So to start off, Paige, Cooper's state of the emergency will temporarily suspend motor vehicle fuel regulations to make sure our state will have enough fuel to maintain steady operations there. And we actually just got a statement from South Carolina Congressman Ralph Norman, who sits on the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Committee. He says the bigger issue is from a national security standpoint, calling the cyber attack catastrophic. Now, the White House is closely monitoring the situation with its own state of emergency, saying, quote, the federal government is working actively to ac assess the implications of this incident, avoid disruption to supply, and also help the company restore pipeline operations as quickly as possible. So it's clear lawmakers are learning more information by the minute as we are, and White House officials said they haven't offered advice to the Colonial Pipeline over whether or not they should pay the ransom money to the hackers. That came out yesterday. And I'm talking with North Carolina Senator Tom Tillis this afternoon. We'll share his thoughts tonight. Page. Fox 46 is committed to bringing you the best coverage of the Colonial Pipeline hack. Just use your phone right now to scan this QR code on your screen. That will take you directly to the Colonial Pipeline page on our website. And there you'll find all our stories on the Colonial Pipeline ransomware attack, as well as the Colonial Pipeline gas bill in Huntersville. Remember to stay with Fox 46 News on air and online for all the breaking updates as this story progresses.